welcome to another uh, Weight Watchers meal prep video. So uh, in this video, I have some things I'm really excited, new things that I am uh, can't wait to try. Uh, but also, there's going to be another new thing, which is I'm going to make this video in a little bit different style just because I want to try it out to see if you like it. So what I'm going to do is I am going to um, film the film me doing it and then I'm going to do a voiceover uh, so so basically I'll be explaining what I'm doing so you guys could kind of see a little bit more of the um, action while I'm explaining to it so if you like this if you prefer the new voiceover style please let me know or if you just like it where I'm live and in the moment chatting with you guys telling you what I'm doing for these meal preps as I'm doing it also please let me know because I don't know, I'm really enjoying this little YouTube hobby and I, I like learning and trying new things. Um, Alright, so let's get into the meal prep. Actually, before I do that, um, if you have not checked out the meal prep where I'm making like pizza dough and then like a chipotle white chicken chili, please do because I really expected to like to freeze some of the, especially the pizza, I expected to freeze it and reuse it. I've been eating it nonstop. It was really, really good. Like, no joke, really good. Um, yeah, so be sure to check it out. So today I'm going to be doing uh, three recipes here. I am going to be making banana bread. It is an Emily Bites recipe. I am going to be making chicken tortilla soup. It is a recipe right off the Weight Watchers app that I use. Um, and then I am also going to be doing another recipe, Weight Watcher recipe, Easy Pico de Gallo. So I'm excited. Let's get started. I'm going to put my headphones in because I got to listen to a podcast while I am cooking. Okay, so for meal prep, what I would highly recommend is laying out all your materials or all your ingredients, I guess I should say, out before you actually start just to make sure that you have everything so you're not in the middle of cooking and be like, oh my gosh, I have to go to emergency trip to the grocery store or send my husband, which I totally have done before. Um, I am starting off by making the banana bread and that just is because it requires, I think around like 50 minutes uh, to cook in the oven. So I just prepped a little uh, bread loaf tray um, with just spraying it with some olive oil so it wouldn't stick. And then the first thing that we had to do was we had to mix a quarter cup of olive oil with a quarter cup of Splenda. And one little tip, if you do not have like an endless supply of measuring cups is, and you hate washing dishes like I do, try to make sure that you're really carefully reading the directions for a recipe before you start because I noticed that I was using a quarter cup and a quarter cup of these two things. So I was like, oh, if I do this, even though the olive oil is like listed first, if I add the Splenda first because it's a dry ingredient and then do my wet ingredient, by the way, I'm just mixing these here, obviously, then I could just use the same measure cup and save a dish for me to do. So there you go. That's what I did. So I mixed it all up and then the next step that I had to do was I just had to add two large eggs to this mixture and then um, mix it up. So this whisk that I have, I have no idea who, I, you could kind of see the characters, but there's some sort of characters and we've had this whisk forever. Well, it's actually my mom's and I have no idea who that character is and I don't think anybody does. All right, so please, please, in this area, I need your help or suggestions. You could see I'm struggling to mash this banana and it, it like it totally almost popped out of the bowl when I was trying to mash it. So if you have recommendations on how to manage banana mashing or even make it quicker, because for some reason I was I was almost digging with this in my hand saying like, I could probably just do this with my hands way quicker, but I didn't want to, so I just mashed it in. Um, so you need a full cup of mashed banana, and I found, I think it was about two, either two or two and a half bananas that I ended up having to mash to make it. So um, I ended up eventually filling that whole cup 
and I added it to the bowl of the mixed up with like the eggs, the olive oil, and the Splenda. Um, so I added that and then I also have some it's a third of a cup of plain non-fat Greek yogurt and because this was baking I tried to be a little bit more exact in the measurements because if you watch any of my videos you know I'm more of like a sprinkle of this kind of a gal than exact measurements but for cooking I try to be a little or I'm sorry not for cooking for baking I try to be a little bit more exact because that's just apparently you need to do that so then I'm adding my baking soda it is one teaspoon of baking soda and I'm using the same principle for doing the dry ingredients first and then the wet ingredients uh, in this process because I needed one teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of vanilla so I did the dry ingredient first and then the wet ingredient so I only had to uh, use one measuring spoon so then I added half a teaspoon of cinnamon and half a teaspoon of salt but you saw the salt got a little bit away from me um, and then I just mix everything together and once you add that cinnamon and vanilla oh my goodness you could really start smelling all the great smells then we have um, the flour it calls for white whole wheat flour it's one and three-fourths cups and then mixing it it just says like mix it until it's combined so I don't think you're supposed to like over mix it but as you could see here it's actually a pretty like it's very very dry which I was a little bit surprised because banana I've made ba banana bread a ton of times because my dad really likes it um, and this was a lot drier of a batter I guess you would call it I'm not sure what you call it um, than usual but it smelled amazing and it smelled perfect and cooking it was just glorious so there it is uh, and now it is time for the next thing so once the banana bread was put into the oven I started working on the pico de gallo you just saw I got all my things all prepped and uh, basically it's just putting them and mixing all the ingredients together so I chopped up two fresh tomatoes I just grabbed Roma tomatoes because it wasn't uh, particular then I had probably a little bit over a quarter of a cup of red onion and then it was supposed to have one jalapeno pepper that was medium finely chopped I used freeze-dried diced jalapeno and I just kind of guessed about how much to use and that is just because uh, I am nervous about cutting hot spicy peppers because I love jalapeno poppers but I cannot make them without touching my eyes and burning it and then being blind so you can see I added a little extra lime juice because I love the flavor of lime um, and then you're also supposed to do salt to taste so I just sprinkled some salt in and then thank you for the tip of a nice subscriber who suggested using scissors to cut cilantro I did that and it was awesome so yes yeah, so all you do is mix it together and then you have some awesome fresh pico de gallo to use what sorry that my hands are in the way <laughs> but here it is looking all up I honestly next time would probably chop my cilantro up a little finer but still it looks pretty isn't like salsa so nice just to add some color all right, so here is a mistake that I made that I totally wish that um, I paid a little bit of attention to, but I'm still learning. So one thing in meal prep is is you is I would like to cut. If I have to cut onions, I only want to cut it once. But you saw I got onions out. I started to cut it again because I had to cut it for the pico de gallo, and then I needed it for this next thing that I'm making, which is the chicken tortilla soup, um, which is only two points which is nice so I added to my pot that's on the stove it's on medium heat I added olive oil just a teaspoon with one and a half cups of onion and then one and a half teaspoons of salt and then I'm just cooking the onions down to get them soft and after they have softened a bit so I probably cooked them for like five to seven minutes um, then I add some seasoning so 
this is chili powder and I am just using one teaspoon of chili powder. I like to go on a wild side and take the whole cap off, which made my husband nervous when he saw me doing that, thinking I would drop the whole thing in. But in some instances, I go on the wild side, and as you can see, with the jalapenos falling all over the place, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So once again, in this as well, I'm using the freeze-dried jalapenos. And garlic, I never measure garlic, and I always put a lot in, a lot more with that recipe calls, because I love garlic so um you could kind of tell i've been just cooking them mixing it and after they've all cooked together i am adding chicken breast um tw it's 20 ounces i think it's a little bit more and then a can of fire roasted diced tomatoes as well as more lime juice my, guys my hands smelled so good even after washing it i had like the onions and then i also like had I don't know how I got lime actually now that I'm seeing because I'm using packaged lime for this but it totally did smell like lime um, and I would prefer to use fresh lime juice but honestly with the amount needed I was like my hands are gonna be to so, so tired from squeezing so many fresh limes and because this was a meal prep I just wanted to make it fast um, of course, also, I have lots of chicken broth, so I'm adding, it ended up being six cups of chicken broth, and um, after it came to kind of a boil, like a very soft boil, I covered it up, and I turned it to like a simmering thing, and essentially let the chicken cook, I think it was around 20 or 25 minutes, I just let it be bubbling and happily on its merry way, and then when it was done, I uh, got the chicken out like I'm doing and I started to shred the chicken. Now the chicken wasn't as tender as it would be like if you were using it in the slow cooker. There's no slow, this isn't a slow cooker recipe but I totally think it could be. But it was easy enough to, uh, to add. So I put the chicken back and then once again I'm adding cilantro. The cilantro I am not measuring just because I figured this is a little bit more to taste. So, look at, isn't this another pretty um, meal? So that was all I had to do for the chicken tortilla soup. And then by that time, the banana bread was ready to go out of the oven. You could see it didn't rise up a ton. Like I expected it to get a little bit fuller. But now I am just slicing it. It is um, looking good and smell, the smell, guys. The whole house was smelling great. It was like a weird but amazing blend of like Mexican food smell and then banana bread smell. And so you could kind of see the texture. It's, it looks a little bit dense, but once again, it's still, it cut easily. It still seemed pretty soft and it was nice. And it's nice because you could get 12 slices. Hi guys, okay, so I'm back talking again. I finished all the meal prep. Meal prep does, make me feel a little tired but also we went on like a really long run today so it could be that um i'm so excited to try these i can't wait to see how i use them throughout the day i didn't make any dinner because the dinners i was like excited to make for this week i don't really feel like lent themselves very well to meal prepping because some things i just like to have fresh so i am going to package all these things up and then get it ready to go one thing that i'm especially excited about for the banana bread is is that um emily bites who created the recipe also has the uh like nutritional information and the nutritional information is is it's it's it has seven grams of sugar per slice which i feel like that's pretty good and and I can't wait to give it to my dad to try because even though he's not like losing weight or has a special diet, he is diabetic, but he loves banana bread. So when, um, when I do a what I eat in a day, I'll be sure to let uh, or have him pop in his little uh, review too. So uh, please don't forget to comment down below on if you like this voiceover style or if you like the preview style I have for these meal prep videos. Um, and if you are new, hello, I am Amy. I am doing my WW Blue. I've lost over 70 pounds since March of 2019. 
and I still got a ways to go. So I would love to have you hit the subscribe button and if anybody could give it a thumbs up, that would be great. And I really appreciate you watching. I hope this gives you guys some information, motivation, or just helps make your day easier or brighter today. Okay, bye.